Well, I just got another courier delivery. Let's see what it is this time. I already started to open it. But I thought, let's make an unboxing video. Some people love that stuff. What do we got here? Anchor. Power Core 2. 10,000! Hmm. It's a battery bank. Latest, greatest American brand. Okay. All the details. Fast charging and fast discharging. Let's open it up. Oh, it's blue. Hallelujah. I love it already. Thanks for choosing Anchor. Oh, how cute. It's the details. It's the Apple-esque-ness. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. Look at that. Look at how neat and tidy that is. I love it. What have we got? Oh! Happy days! Happy welcome guide. <laughs> what does that say? Happy. We're just happy that you're happy. If you don't know how to express your newfound joy, we've got a few suggestions. Tell your family, share, connect. Oh, that's marketing, right. Friendly customer service, yep, good -o. Not happy? Okay, tell them about it, good. Oh, happy up, up there. Welcome, okay, thank you. Let's have a look at the stuff. Ooh, got a little bag. Nice. Oh, something in the bottom there. Oh, it's a little micro USB charger cable. Nice. How long is that? A little mesh bag. Cute. There it is. So it's about. 30 cent, 40 centimeters long foot. Nice. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual product. Ooh, it's chunky. Oh, it's nice. The material is nice. It's like a, it's like a condom. Not really, but without the slippiness, I think. Ooh. Da, da, da. Ooh. Very nice. We've got one out. It's a Qualcomm 3.0 super fast charge. So any devices that can charge up to 18 watts, um, like 9 volt and 2 amp, I think, and or 12 volt and 1.5 amp, or 5 volt and up to 3 amp, which is only 15 watts. And then input, this one, it's also a fast charge, super fast charge, Qualcomm 3.0 input fast charged uh, compatible device as well. So it can charge up in about four hours. Um, yeah, and we've got this little, there's eight little lights on there apparently. Oh, yep, push it. And two of them light up, so it's like two eighths charge, so one quarter charged. And let's have a look at what this says here. It says we've got all the light capacity 10,050 input 5 volt 2 amp 5 volt 9 volt 2 amp power core output 5 volt 3 amp 9 volt 2 amp 12 volt 1.5 what I thought I thought it was a fast charge input as well I'd be very disappointed if it's not. Oh, 9 volt, 2 amp, that's your 18 volt, that's your input. I was tricked by the 5 volt, 2 amp, which is what my other ones were, and they don't charge up particularly fast. Okay, so, that's it. How heavy is it? Let's find out. How heavy is it? 
193 grams. I think it says 198, 195 on the website. 6.8 ounces. Pretty good. And with the cable, 7.2 ounces. Um, 208 grams, which is half a pound. Point four four six of a pound. All right. So why did I want this? Well, because it charges up fast. Um, and when you're wanting to charge, or primarily I want it to charge my phone when I'm hiking, lots of capacity. Um, I've got other, I've got other power banks. I've got like this one, which is 6,000. So this is 10,000, this is 6,000. And this one uh, has a brand called Signet. It's got two outs, which is great, but it doesn't charge up particularly fast and it doesn't discharge. So it charges up at two amp, five volt, but it only outputs two amp at five volt which is a medium speed but it's not as fast as I'd like it to be on um, charging my iPhone and particularly when you get up to 90% capacity on the phone which is like the, the camera that's recording this video it takes forever to like go from 90 to 100% like hours and I'm hoping this new anchor doesn't have that because it will output at uh, 2.4 yeah, it'll do output 5 volt at 2.4, which is what the maximum an iPhone can take. So yeah, I've got this 6,000, that's about 150 grams. I've got this one also, a Signet, the same brand, both bought from JB Hi-Fi here in Australia. 4,000, uh, that's only about 100 grams. And, but this one only out, outputs um, uh, outputs um, 1 amp, oh, sorry, 1 amp, uh, 5 volts, uh, 1 amp. So it's just a regular slow charge, but it's very light, it's very convenient. It's got an inbuilt micro um, lightning cable for my iPhone, and it just turns it on as well. So it just tucks right back in there, and it's also got a second output, so you can actually charge two again two things: your my watch, my Apple Watch, and my phone at the same time, and that's what I can do with this one as well. But I wanted one that had a high capacity, and um, I wasn't prepared to pay the extra, not the uh, the extra weight for the models that had two outputs and they didn't had two USB outputs it was they were much heavier like 50 grams heavier and there was no one that none uh, anchor hadn't made one that I was aware of that had fast charge dual fast charge out and and dual fast or and fast charge Qualcomm in as well so this is one of the first ones um, yeah and I do also have another um, battery bank it's only it's an old Sony one my old Sony days, um, and it's a 5,000, was it? I don't know, 2,800 milliamp hours, uh, 5 volt and 1.5 amp output. Um, why are these things important? Well, there's lots of things that when you're out and about you on your hiking that you want to charge. So your phone, like this device here, but also um, my one of my favorite lights, it also charges up via uh, micro USB or via a battery bank um, so yeah you can just plug into there with a micro USB which is the same cable that you'd already be carrying so you've got um, your, your torch um, you've got your watch your electronic watch so it charges up via a bank, uh, the battery bank via this little magnetic inductor adapter cable as well so you can plug that in so your watch is going to be uh, something that you need to charge up um, my headphones my headphones are uh, run off um, a rechargeable and they again also charge up via micro USB so there's some um, play tr plantronics that's a little case they come in and the case actually it's got a little battery in there as well to charge up the headphones if you're out and about and you need to um, uh, and, your and your headphones go flat but I don't carry that when I'm hiking maybe just these and use my battery bank so you've got your headphones and finally, um, you know, I haven't ca carried a camera but I plan to, a digital camera that you can charge up again via a USB with an optional, or sorry, with, a, with another cable which I don't have right here. So there's five devices, five devices that you're going to use this battery bank for. Your phone, your torch, your watch, smartwatch, your headphones and your camera. So all off this. Now I might need to get maybe you don't want, won't necessarily want to charge them all at once, and particularly if this is a really fast charger, you can top up these things hopefully fairly quick, one at a time as they need it. Otherwise, I'd need to get like a little small 
um, you know, like a USB hub to be able to feed one out and like feed a multiple at times. Now what happens when you get into town and you want to charge up? Well, I've got this little portable charger. Uh, I think it's about 45 grams, just under two ounces, 1.6 ounces. And it's got two outputs. They'll output five volt up to 2.4 amp max. But if you're plugging multiple things in, it sort of uh, the maximum that both of them combined will be 2.4 amps. But um, if uh, if you plug them both in, they might like your phone and your uh, watch. Say your your phone might not be charging at the 2.4 amps, but once your watch is charged up, the uh, it'll throttle up to 2.4 amps. So. Or if you're charging up, what mostly what you're going to be doing, you're going to be charging up your battery bank, like that, and your phone. Oops, that's going to be an input like that, and then also your phone, like this. Good, plug that into your phone there. Um, and even though they might most not be charging up at their fastest rate, once they say the phone gets fully charged. Then this one can then plug in and charge up there um, at the 2.4 amps. Now this one can take up higher um, uh, charge rate, but you need a bigger, heavier um, charger like this thing. And I bought this one, and this is a Qualcomm 3 um, compatible charger. So if I was prepared to carry this instead of this little portable one, I'd plug it, plug that in there into the wall. But this thing's massive, heavy. It's 120 grams, like five ounces. Blah. Um, and then I could plug in my phone and my watch and do that, but I just don't know whether I'm prepared to carry that heavy. So whether I was prepared to carry this big heavy chunker, thunker chunker, I'm not, I don't know. It'd be great for charging up multiple things, including my um, anchor power bank really fast at this maximum Qualcomm 3 uh, fast charge capability. And then your phone at this, its maximum charge capability, 2.4 amps, 5 volts, and then another device. So, yeah. I don't think I haven't been able to find a, a lighter, um, more compact one that's got multiple outputs as well as Qualcomm 3. So I might just have to ch carry that at times, even though I don't like it. I'd much prefer carrying this little one here, something like 1.6 ounce versus 5 ounces. So we'll see. Okay. Oh, one final thing. Um, when you plug it in to start charging it with the Qualcomm fast charger, what I do, look what happens. All the little lights light up. Dit, 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 dit. And they're going dit, 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 dit. like a little circle. Isn't that cute? So it's being charged up with the Qualcomm fast charger, which we just spoke about over there. See that little dude there on the Qualcomm 3. So, here we go. That is the end of the unboxing and little mini uh, look at the anchor. Power Core 10,000. Da da da. Blue Boy out.